it's hammering with rain, which is the perfect time to blow up your car on the way home. So I'm actually in a uh, car park at the moment uh, with uh, the VW Beetle that has drunk two litres of water in 22 miles um, and is pouring out smoke and things. Oh, I'm about to get run over. Um, right, someone obviously wants to get right into where I am. So, I've been to Halfords, which is next door. So this is actually Tesco's car park. And I have got Steel Seal. Um, now I've taken a picture because there was one in the security box and this one next to it. So obviously I bought the one next to it. Because we wouldn't want to steal both of them because one had a security um, label on it. I'll send, I'll put a picture in. Um, so it was priced up at 579. Turns out when I got to the till, it was 49, uh, 39.99, 40 quid basically. Um, it's got a, a, a lifetime guarantee. Um, it's, it's fixed or refunded. Um, so as a result, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to follow the instructions. We're going to see how well this goes. I told the guy I have absolutely no faith, but the car's wrecked anyway. I'm not going to do a head gas one. It's just not worth it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is see if it works. <laughs> My brain went blank. Here's the thing. The guy said to me, just to let you know, if you want it to be refunded, you have to go direct to them and not back to us. Which also tells me that he didn't have any faith in it either. But we're going to give it a go. So wish me luck. So we're back out with the car. Um, it's stone cold, which is what the instructions tell us to be. So we're going to undo this and add in the bottle of steel seal. So I need two hands for this. But I'm going to pop me down there for a minute. Let's have a look at this. There we go. Do you know what's annoying about this iPhone is I can't switch the camera around um, to show you the other side. So I'm going to have to kind of swiddle around. There you go. And we're just going to pour that straight in to here. Right, cap back on. And now we have to let the car run for half an hour. I've got half an hour until my next meeting, Ugh. which is very exciting because we're going to talk to a guy called Wayne and we're going to end up talking about Lamborghinis and Ferraris and all kinds of things, petrol heads. It's very exciting. Uh, while, the, um, uh, while the car just sort of sits here and ticks over. And then hopefully they're guaranteed to fix my head gasket. I don't think it's too bad. Uh, I've done 65 miles and we haven't really used two litres of water. So it's got better even before I've put this in. Um, so I will now start up the car. Let's come with me. Now. Oh. Right, here it is. Let's give it a go. Right, car is running. Now we just sit and wait. I've got some water in case I need to top it up after it's been sat for half an hour. Um, so, wish me luck. Right, so the car drunk all the water, including the fix. Um, so, one empty bottle, uh, done about 30 miles. So we put it in, we've left it running, we've followed the instructions. Um, now I have to probably drive it and see if it dies and then probably go for a court case to try and get my 40 quid back because I still don't believe it's gonna work. Anyway, today I've met Wayne, you lot, and it's mental. He's had the same business idea as I am. So um, we're going to, yes, basically we're going to buy some stupid cars together and no, I'm not sorry about it. I'll happily cut out McDonald's and coffees for a blimmin' supercar. Uh, we're gonna get a group of us together um and we're going to start with one and then we're going to build up the business um it will be basically a members club we can access for instance a um aston martin for 200 quid a month uh and you get you know uh 20 percent of the so yeah i mean you get a couple of months worth of driving a, a aston martin db9 for 200 quid a month so who wouldn't do that mm. 
This could be the start of something rather exciting. Alex Louise, you're amazing. You've caused lots of trouble and it's just brilliant. So it is the moment of truth. We have done 30 miles after the repair. Now, at about 27 to 35 was when the coolant warning temperature light came on. So we're gonna see if we've got any coolant left in it. Now, we have, not sure if you can see, but it's about here. It's, it's, it's lost a, I'd say, a, well, it's lost a bit for sure but it's certainly not drunk two liters in 30 miles. So it might keep the car alive for a little bit longer because every 30 miles I have to put two liters of, well, I started to put water in it to be honest, there's no point in adding coolant, it's just gonna get eaten up. Uh, so, so far so good. I'm, I'm kind of impressed a little bit to be honest. Um, we have dropped about that much. I mean, but it was literally empty after the, the kind of uh, initial half an hour run that it tells you to do. So we're, we're below minimum and maximum. Literally, I'd say about 10 mil underneath the ridge that goes around the bottle. Let me show you a little bit of a close up if I can, if I can get it there. Yeah, see that ridge? There you go. There's coolant just underneath that. You see it moving around. So, currently, skepticism's dropping. Like, this might have actually worked. I don't know how it works, but it's certainly interesting. I've only done 30 miles. Let's keep going, and I will report back. So, second drive after we've put the seal in. Um, <laughs> God, that looks dirty. Anyway, um, we have a new warning light. This one up here, um, a triangle exclamation mark with a circle around it. Don't know what that is. Lost lots of power, doesn't seem to be pulling properly. Uh, we've done about three and a half miles on the second trip. So, um, we will keep you posted on how things develop. Ah. Oh. So do you know what? I was almost convinced that that, that was actually going to work. We've done 46 miles. It's drunk the two litres of coolant. It's still absolutely wrecked. So, yeah, there we go. It didn't work, as I suspected. Um, you now have to give all your personal information, the inside leg measurement, how many brain cells you've got left, and, um, and then eventually you might get your money back. But... Um, Hey, there you go. So at least you all now know that that I don't recommend. So to conclude, the car is still drinking a lot of water, more than it ever was. Steel seal is rubbish. Uh -uh, you didn't work, boo. I'm gonna have to scrap the car anyway. And it was worth a go for 40 quid. Do I recommend it? No. Conclusion to this video, I'm going to have to buy a new car. If you have a car that you'd like to donate to us to do something stupid, then get in touch because we're always looking for things to cut up and weld and roll and do all sorts of kind of that kind of stuff. If you are interested in becoming a member of the monthly car club, uh, we're looking at a, um, a Aston Martin DB9, as I've mentioned. Also, there is a uh, Gran Turismo um, uh, or possibly a Quattroporte uh, in the mix as well before we then go on to something like a, um, a, a Bentley Continental, I think, is going to be in the mix. Um, so if, if, that, if any of that kind of stuff sounds interesting, it's going to be like a couple hundred quid a month, which will give you two months and about 2,000 miles, whichever comes first. Um, so if you're interested in that, also give me a, a thumbs up, give me a message, please comment, like, I'm trying to build up the YouTube channel, so it'd be great if I could hear the support of you viewers out there. Until next time, thanks for watching.